what's up YouTube my name is Equagan in today's video I just want to go over the stasis wall lock build that I've been using for a uh, light blade it's pretty fun so I just want to go over what I'm running why I'm running it and in what instances I feel like this is good to work with and I've been liking a lot of light blades uh, you know generally if you watch me on stream you know that I do a lot of grandmaster help so if you're on YouTube and you didn't know that well you can show up on the channel I do stream live every day I do end up playing Lost Ark at the end of the stream, but I do about maybe like eight to nine hours of like help with GMs, and then I go into Lost Ark. Now, in this video, I'm going to show the aspects, the fragments, and then I'm going to go over the armor. All right, so let's get it. Um, for Shade Binder, of course, there's no other supers. I can't change anything here. My Rift is a Healing Rift. Uh, I run Burst Glide because that's what I like to jump with. I can't change melee. You're tied to one melee. And for this, I'm actually going to use Dustfield because the base cooldown is 104 compared to the other two that are 2 minutes and 2 minutes and 32. Now, I will be making a video later on on Cold Snap and Ozumancy because I love that exotic. But I'm also not only freezing, but I'm also the support because I'm running Aeons, right? So with Aeons, I get to make heavy off of yellow bars or champions for my teammates. And off of orange bars, I can make special ammo, all right? When it comes to my aspects, I have Bleak Watcher. Basically, with Bleak Watcher, you put out a turret, it slows targets, and if you accumulate enough slow, then it freezes them. You basically, you, you hold your grenade button, whatever it is, and once you uh, you held it enough, you can throw it out, and it puts out a turret. Uh, I'm running Frost Pulse, which is basically, if I put my rift down, anything around me gets frozen. This is really nice. You'll see why I kind of like running this. Um, instead of me running... Uh, you know, ice fair boats where I shatter a frozen target, it will spawn secrets that track and freeze other nearby targets. I don't really feel like I need this as much. I actually like the ability of going in there, doing a finisher, and then potentially freezing things. When it comes to my fragments, some of it will make sense, some of it won't. Perfect example Whisper Chains while you're near a frozen target or friendly stasis crystal, you take reduced damage. So, the thing is, if I'm using the turret, or I use my melee to free something, right? I'm going to take reduced damage. It also gives me plus 10 recovery. So then that kind of helps you out with your build, especially if you're trying to do like triple 100 like I have. Whisper of Torment, I gain grenade energy every time I take damage from targets. So I do have a high resilience. If I'm taking damage and I put myself on open, I know that this is going to help out because I'm going to get, you know, my grenade energy back a lot faster. Whisper Shards, Sharon the Crystal, uh, Temporary does boost my recharge rates. The neat thing about this too is that it not only increases the you know the duration of the benefit, but it also gives me ten resilience, which also allows you to kind of like focus a little more, a little bit more on you know trying to go for that triple hundred. Now, if you don't have a triple hundred, I would say focus on resilience and discipline, and then finish off with recovery. All right. Now, whisper endurance is the last one. Slows for my abilities last longer. For those that uh, for, for those abilities that linger, the duration will also increase. So the slows from from the bleak watcher are basically gonna last longer, which is a nice thing to have. Now that's just the you know the aspects and fragments of side of it. For my helmet, I'm gonna go over the bottom's bounty thing. You don't need this. I'm only using it because it increases the effect of soul drinker. So I'm using the insidious, which is the which is the raid uh, pulse from the Vow of Disciples. That's the only reason why I kind of have that there. It's just a filler. But I'm running Reactive Pulse. So while I'm charged with light, when I, uh, when I take damage while surrounded by combatants, I emit a burst of damage arc energy. So that's another neat thing, right? I drop my Rift. I'm healing. If things are frozen, I take a little bit of damage. That burst also goes out. Or if I don't have a Rift at the time and I go for a finisher, it's going to give me an overshield uh, because that's the second thing here. I gain a powerful overshield when I perform my finisher. But then it also does do damage to push things away from me, which is why it's nice to have here. Arc Siphon is made for my weapon, right? Rapid Arc Fire weapon final blows create orbs of power. You put that together with something that has, like, Dragonfly on it, right? For uh, With minus spec and one for all, I'm going to be making orbs for my teammates. So you're kind of a support person as well. One neat thing here now is Aeons. Aeons, make sure you run a Sect of Insight. It actually allows you to make... Uh, you know, heavy and special for your teammates. Now, another neat thing about Sector Insight that most people don't pay attention to, successive precision weapon takedown have a chance to drop an orb of power for your allies. So not only do I have my helmet helping out, Sector Insight is another thing that's helping out. Now, Shield Break, 
I become charged away by breaking a command shield with a match and energy. There are a few arc shields in even in the boss room, so I'd like to run. I mean, I don't have any other space or anything else to put here, so shield break is the thing that fit in. I'm running unstoppable pulse because there's unstoppables in the strike. I'm running arbalist because there's anti barriers, so I, the only thing I have to cover is unstoppable. You can kind of mix and match with this if you want to. Now, I have grenade kickstart on. When my grenade energy is fully expended, I gain grenade energy, so that's really nice to kind of flow upon. And then, of course, the, the modern first slot is just there to be there. Now, what you can do, even for this part, you can kind of do multiple things. But I like running Thermal Shock Plating because it reduces income and arc and solar damage with Concussive Dampener. All right, so that reduces income and area effect damage. Then I put that together with um, Taking Charge. Taking Charge, I become charged light when I pick up Orbs of Power. So my weapon's making orbs, I can pick that up. If my teammates are making orbs, I can also pick that up. Okay. Now, Deep Explorer Boots on here, I have on Innovation. So it reduces my grenade cooldown every time I pick up an Orb of Power. In the final boss room, there are going to be a bunch of orbs on the ground. So I can basically put up a turret, run down there, and grab more if I want to. And then I have on Supercharge, which basically gives me two additional stacks of Charge of Light, uh, up to maximum of five. So I normally will have a maximum of Charge of Light times four. And last but not least on my class item, I have on Firepower. So when I'm Charge of Light, I regain a portion of my grenade energy when I use my grenade, consuming one stack of Charge of Light, which is really nice. And then I pair that with Bomber, so it reduces my grenade cooldown when I'm using my class ability. All right. So while I'm using my class ability, you're going to see a huge burst in your in your energy uh, as well. Now, one neat thing about this class is the ability to have your turret out a lot allows you to kind of help out if you know the spawns in the boss room. Like, if I place a turret where I know that champion is going to spawn in with Acolytes, that gives me enough time to focus on one and then go help out my friend. All right? Another neat thing is if, you know, someone's being the boss, that person goes down, this gives you time to kind of recoup, right? Uh, the super itself is not the greatest thing, but the super will allow you to kind of slow things down so you can get back in pace. Um, the helmet, once again, will react to pulse. is nice because when you're going in for finishers for, for Aeon, it's going to help you stay alive. The rift for freezing is nice because after you do that finisher, if you need a heal, you place that down. Anything that comes near you is going to be frozen. So if you're out there, you want to try a different build, you want to hang out, uh, you know, you want to try out stasis, this is what I'm running. And I see you guys on the next one. I just want to say thank you very much for subscribing to the channel. We have hit 37,000 subscribers on this channel. I just want to say thank you very much for the journey. I see you guys on the next one. And don't forget, if you have any questions, you can find me at twitch.tv slash Deuces. Aha. Uh -huh.